Hey friends, so I'm sitting out here on my front porch because I finished the whole project. I recorded everything, so I'm going to share it with you now. But we're going to start at Tallahassee Nursery, which is this beautiful nursery that I love to go visit um, to buy some flowers and a tree. So let's get started. just made it to Tallahassee Nursery and I wanted to kind of go over what I'm looking for while I'm here. Um, I definitely want a tree to go in the pot I'm working on and I thought some white flowers around the base may be something that's looser and trailing and then I want to repeat that flower up in the um, in the iron thing on the wall. And then generally if I have one pot down on the floor, I like to put a smaller one next to it. So I'll either look and see if they already have something made or I'll grab um, a few, five or six plants to put in there. Well, I bought the tree and I used to have a minivan, so I forget that I I had to lay it down in the back seat. I mean, the pot's on the floor, but <laughs> oh my, I wonder how much of it will be in the floor by the time I get home. So keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Hey friends, so I'm back out here in the garage and I'm going to sand this down to smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm going to try to um, make it look a little more aged with some color. And I'm trying a lime wash technique. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Um, this is, disclaimer, this project is 100% testing and trying today. So. Um, I'm going to try a lime wash technique on here and see if it works. And I've done a lot of reading <laughs> because um, usually you age things with lime wash, not spackle or joint compound. Um, so, keep your fingers crossed. Let's see how this turns out. Whole cup of lime and three quarters cup water. So let's see how that works. 
If that works good, I will let you know. This is what, I have never actually used this, so this is what that looks like. So we'll see. Okay, it didn't go over, yay. So then it said to just keep stirring it and the pebbles will eventually dissolve, but it takes a while. So I'll keep stirring it and then I'll come back and show you what it, but it looks like, it almost looks like chocolate milk right now. Here, I'll bring the camera over it. See, it looks like chocolate milk. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this until it completely dissolves and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I think that's ready. So I'm gonna put a drop cloth down because I don't want this lime on my workbench. Okay, so I have this sponge brush, but technically it would be easier, I think, if you got something bigger. <laughs> but I'm using what I have, so. Let's see how this works. Oh, look at that. <gasps> okay. dry um, I don't know I really have no idea what to expect here it may get lighter I have no idea I kind of wish I would have textured the top now but I think you probably won't even see that once I put the plum tree in it but um, yeah I'm liking it so far I mean it's definitely getting some lighter and darker spaces and it looks very pretty so we're just gonna keep letting this dry and then we'll come back and check it in a while Hey friends, so I'm coming out to see how it looks and let's get over here. So I think, yeah, this is dry. Well, no, it's not complete. This is really wet, I can tell by looking at it. So this, I've never done this before, so it looks like this is going to take quite a while for it to dry. So I think at this point, let's just wait till tomorrow and see what it looks like then. Okay, so let's go see how this looks. And I've got a clear sealer I'm going to put on it. So, it looks great. It's definitely lightened up some, and I feel like, I feel like um, there's some parts of the line, like I feel some roughness. So I'm gonna just rub my hand on it and just make sure all the little pebbles, yeah, there's just a few here or there. Okay, so we're gonna take this out and we're gonna spray it with a clear coat. Um, but I'm gonna take it out back so I don't get it all over my car and other things in here. It has been raining here, so hopefully my my little table I use out back to spray paint on, hopefully it won't be too, too wet. Okay, so we'll let this dry and then we'll come back out and get it in about 30 minutes. I've really gotta watch this weather because it's very stormy. Do y'all see how stormy looking it is over there? So, I don't want it to get rained on. We're going to go to the porch and set up the thing on the wall. And I'm just going to sit these pots in there, but they, they need some water in. So, we're going to water them first. Alright, so, I have been saving this for a very long time. 
because when I originally bought some, I bought enough. I had to buy a big piece. So hopefully, hopefully this is still good and it will work up here. It looks very thin. So let's just put it up here. Turn them around so they hang over on the side. I'll pull these out. Okay, now I want to do like a bronzy look on this, so I'm gonna go get some rub and buff, and we're gonna jazz that up a little bit. Okay, so I've got some antique gold rub and buff, a sponge brush, and a paper towel. So I'm just gonna dab it on here and then kind of rub it off. So what do you think? This is such an easy porch. It uses the basics and I feel like we can easily transition other things into it. Like at Easter, I can maybe add a cute bunny. Um, in the summer, it's already neutral enough and timeless enough that it could just go all year into the fall and then I can add some things in the fall. I definitely will be planting this um, plum tree in the yard so it will be changed at some point and my flowers may end up in the yard too but super easy porch. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you are having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!